Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? I am back on Spin Tires. It's our new upload schedule now. Um, I explained everything in the video where I gave the channel update. Um, if you'd like to know, if you didn't see that, if you want to know about what's going on with this channel, um, there'll be a link in the description down below for that video where I explain how my hard drive went horribly wrong and things have had to change. So I decided to come back onto Spin Tires for today and I thought, well, we'll just carry on from where we were last time. So I've had a lot of tips about what I should be doing with this game and what I shouldn't be doing, and what mistakes I've made and so on. So what we need to do is we need to get some logs from the logs kiosk to the objective. Um, there is another vehicle available here. We got our garage trailer over here hopelessly stuck. Um, there's a Type C65620 here, so I thought it's locked, you can't drive it, drive close to the truck to, uh, truck to unlock it. So I thought what I would do is if I put a marker like that, oops, wrong button, we can try and find one of these uh, other trucks. So now all i got to do is find the track, there we go, so I'm just going to follow the track. Now people said it's really unusual that you would... Um, not stick to the roads because generally speaking you stick to the roads in this game and I thought it was all about off-roading which is why I wasn't sticking to the roads. Um, however I have been told that it's kind of a, a good thing and it does make it different and quite interesting so I will stick with this. So we've unlocked something here let's go and drive around near it and see what it is. Right so we've got another truck here. Um, if I I'm going to try and switch that. We've got the other truck that is hopelessly stuck over here. I've been told how to use the winch. Um, but I reckon if we get this one, we could go to this logs kiosk over here. And then we can take some logs from there and drive back onto this road around here and to the objective. At least that's my plan. There's two cloaking things that are left. I'm not going to worry about those right now. So we need to go advanced and you just click on advanced like that and then click on change truck. So we go to this one. Uh, oh, hang on. I, let me just change the truck again. Uh, there, if I oops, click on that one, I want to switch this. En How do you switch the engine off? Press enter. Um, advanced. Stop engine. Right, now I'll change the truck, go to this one, and start engine. So we don't have a diff lock on this one. Um, what do we have? Oh, let's take the park brake off for a start. We've got a diff lock, but we don't have all-wheel drive. Um, the diff lock is that button. So the diff lock is good if you want to go in a straight line, but it's not so good if you need to go around corners. Now, which way am I facing and which way do I need to go? Um... We just spin the camera. I really do hate and detest the camera in this game. And apparently I am not alone with those feelings of disgust and hatred for this camera. Um, a lot of the comments were all about how much you despise the camera in this game. Um, right, so I didn't actually make a track. So we'll put the logs kiosk there. I don't know if we're actually going to be able to get to that logs kiosk um, like this. Well, there, there is a track there, so if we stick roughly to the track instead of actually going by via the log skills, there's another vehicle there. I don't know if we're going to even be able to carry logs with this truck. Maybe we need that one. That one looks like it's got something that could carry um, logs, so we'll go with that one instead. I know I just said that we would take this one. Spare wheel, 100 points. Um, I'm going to change truck. Type B. Now this has got a back on it, so I'm assuming that this means that we can use it. It's got a winch and a park lock. Oh, and a diff lock. It does have a diff lock. That's okay. Right. Um, now, where is... It should be behind us. So let's just spin round a minute. Trashing this thing already. And... Right, so we've got a track here. We've got a, um, a course of action to follow. Hopefully this one can actually take a few logs, because if it can't, We've got to go and find another vehicle somewhere and get that to a kiosk. i got a feeling that maybe that one that we've just unlocked, the C whatever it is, the one that we've left behind, we can take that to our garage or even just reset it straight to the garage and then use it from there with a trailer. Oh, come on, don't get stuck. Oh, diff lock. Let's put the diff lock in. Well, no, this is only a two-wheel drive vehicle, so it's, it's not 
the greatest, but I'm sure he can make it. He's got to make it. Travelled. Uh, well, I've got distance travelled. I want... How far have I got to go? Oh, there it is. Okay, right. We're cooking on gas now. We can get there. Can it actually take logs? That's the next thing. Can we take logs? Let's get up here. Right. And now, if I go spawn, you've got small logs, medium and big. So, spawn short logs. How do you load them? That's the next thing. I don't actually know how to load the logs. Uh, right. Well, let's stop the crazy camera. Advanced. Ah, need to position four more to load up. Right. Spawn short logs. What do you mean need to position four more? I don't know what that means. Let's take it off of advanced. Go forward a little bit. Um, oh, do I need to... Maybe, maybe I need to spawn longer logs? Is that what it is? So it's got the short ones here. Uh, moving the camera again. I don't want to do that. Spawn short logs. Advanced. Need to position four more to load up. Right. Uh, well, let's try spawning the medium logs then. What does that do? Oh, that doesn't... Select winch source. Oh, that just that just winches you, doesn't it? So I don't want to do that. That's how to use the winch. I did. Um, people told me how to do that. So spawn short logs. Right, it's not spawning more. It says position need to position four more to load up. But that makes no sense. Is there more here that I got to load? As I was told, this is what you got to do. You got You got to go to this this point, and then you you can load them. Um, right. I'm guessing we can't load. I don't know. I'm gonna have to figure something out here. Right. I got a feeling that that lumber yard that I have just gone to is not an automatic loading one. Either that, or this vehicle here is not suitable for taking the logs in the first place. It's got to be one or the other. I need an automatic loaded one because obviously we don't have a log crane. Um, so what I'm going to do is I am going to go bombing along the road to another log kiosk and hope that uh, that one will automatically load. And if it doesn't, then we'll have to try something else. If you have a look here, I have gone up onto the road. It's pointing at a log kiosk here and it's pointing at a log kiosk here and then you've got lumber over here. So my first port of call is I'm going to follow this road round here to get to this log kiosk and once we've gotten there hopefully then we can get some logs onto this vehicle if we can't get logs onto this vehicle we're gonna to have to try a different one and then we'll see what we can do so we'll stick to the road for this because this vehicle doesn't seem like it's going to it's like a um, well built for off-roading so if we stick to this road nice easy gentle drive in the evening mist I was going to say evening sunshine, but it's not looking like sunshine anymore. It's looking like um, dank and dark mists and, yeah, not so pleasant. Um, I spent so long trying to find out what I was supposed to be doing that it is now um, gone to night time. Now, these are actually these bridges. I've fallen off these bridges more than once whilst practicing. And my son has been practicing on this game as well. Um, it's been quite amusing watching him drive around because... He likes to drive off of everything that he can, and so he will work hard to be able to drive something off a cliff or off anywhere that he can get hold of. It is it's quite funny watching him do it, um, and I think he's actually gotten further in the game than I have, although neither of us have ever actually successfully loaded anything, so we don't really know what we're supposed to be doing. Now, is this another one that is going to do exactly the same as it did last time? If I spawn short logs... Advanced, yes, it is it need to position four more. And I think what it means is that these need to be in the right position to load. But I don't know how I'm supposed to get into the right position to load. So, we've got two options. Rather than mess around here not knowing what I'm doing, we can go here. This is lumber yard over here. This one's a bit different. If I try and get this truck over here and get it out of the mud, um, then I can get that one over to the lumber yard. There is another vehicle here that is... Um, currently locked that we could unlock that one and then drive it all the way back around by the garage and up this way and I'm not quite sure how we're supposed to get through here 
We need to get over this river. It's going to be a difficult bit. But if we can get something unlocked, um, we might be able to figure out a way. So either that or we've got to go to this um, the C65. We've unlocked a couple of vehicles over here. There is a garage here. So maybe we could, actually maybe we could just do that. If we go to this one, if we can take this one to a garage. Um, right. I'm going to just assume that the other vehicle is going to switch itself off eventually. And turn the park brake off. Now, which way did I want to go? I need to get to that garage. So I think I need to go up there. We want to go out onto the road here and then up to here and then over to here. And that should be where we got to go, I hope. That's the plan. Now, where is the um, route on the road that will be behind us, I would guess? It's very, very dark now. I would like to be doing this in the daylight so that we can see things a little better. Uh, which way did the road go? Right, we just, we'll just follow this track. We follow this track and take us back up onto that road. Then we can go bombing along the road and hook up the garage. But I will meet you over at the garage and um, when it's gotten a bit more... When the sun, the sun has come out again, because I don't want to do all of this at night time. I'd rather be doing this during the day. And I can sort of see if we can make any progress with it. I've gotten very close to where the garage is. And... Oh, I didn't actually mean to do that. Um... Well, I thought I was doing well until I drove off of there. I managed to find the headlights, which is a, a good start, I suppose. Um, do I have a winch? I'm gonna, I'm gonna need a winch, right? Um, now I remember people saying about how to use the winch. So if I go from there and then I can winch there. Now, how do you actually use the winch? Um, that's one thing I don't know. Oh, just press F. Oh, I just got to drag the truck round in a circle, basically. Right, that's pulling. Well, it's, it's doing something. If I... Let's take the winch off a minute. Take you off. <laughs> okay, done like that. Stop engine. Well, why aren't you driving? Oh, it's because I've still got it on advance. And I'm going forwards. I'm actually driving forwards. Uh, this doesn't seem to be going quite so well as I'd hoped. It's very deep here. Oh, come on. Don't get stuck. I can't believe that the... No, 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 no. What are you doing? Oh, this is awful. Um... <laughs> right, let's try this again. Um, winch. Hang on. Let me spin this round. Maybe I can pull us out backwards and we can try this whole river thing again. And there. Right, have we got any point? i got no point that I can attach it to. This, this is making this more difficult. Uh, what about over here? If we go to this side for winching. Right, and if I... Do I take advanced off? Right, now if I drive at the same time as pulling the winch, maybe that will help. Come on, you can do it! I believe in you, truck. I believe. I believe you can do this. Okay, really, it can't do this. It's. Oh, no, no, it's doing it! Oh, yes! Come on! <laughs> oh, we did it! Right. Now we're getting somewhere. So, we are out of the ditch. Um, all i got to do is get up that hill. I really wanted to do this um, during the daytime. I, I felt it would have been better. But that's all right. We'll do it like this. Advanced. Take that off. And away up the hill. We've got the diff lock on. All we've got to do is get up this hill. The garage is right there. I think it's those lights that are right there. Um, except that this truck is not much of an off-roader, is it? I'm getting a little bit stuck. If I can get just a little bit further, I might be able to get another winch point on that tr tree up there. Yes. Okay. I'm starting to get the hang of this. So we click off advance so that we can drive. And we winch and drive at the same time. Just so as I can get up this little embankment. And we stop here. Right. Uh, you know, it would be helpful if I put the park brake on. There. Take it off of advanced. Like that. And let's go. Right. We carry on up the hill. The garage is right here. We were literally right at the door. Um, so we've only just got to get just up here. 
and there should be another vehicle here that we can unlock and I'm hoping that it's something that we can get some logs with because that's the next big thing. It must be really frustrating for those of you who actually know how to play this game. Um, I don't know how to play this game. I've got no clue. So I don't really know how I'm supposed to be loading logs. But that beast there, that looks like something that we want. Uh, more, is, more garage points required to access. That's what the garage trailer was for. That's what it was for. Um, the one that we had on the other vehicle. But we, we don't need to worry about that other one now. I'm going to change truck. I'm going to get into that one over there. There. Type C255. Right, what have we got on? <laughs> All-wheel drive. This this thing has got everything. Right, park brake is on. Uh, spare wheel utility attachment. What's the utility attachment do? 800 points. Okay, I don't actually know what the utility attachment does. Um, but I'm hoping that I could take this one somewhere to um like help us out so that we if we can get this one to the log kiosk maybe we could load some logs with this one or is this one for like building a bridge here no i don't need to worry about that it's, it's, i made short work of that bridge i don't have any of the wheels on or the diff lock if i put all the wheels on and the diff lock oh, oh, oh yes this thing's a beast this is fantastic right Round here. Now I can take all wheels and diff locks off. And if we go bombing along the road, I'm going to go to the log kiosk. So I've got no idea what this thing is that I've got on the back. Utility for 800 points. I don't know what that means. Um, I'm, yeah, I've, yeah I've, I've literally no idea. There's no manuals or anything to explain how to play this game. That's the one thing that has really annoyed me about this game because there's so much potential to it. And like so many people have said, it's just been abandoned. And it's really, really frustrating. It's not what you want. You really don't want a game like this to just be abandoned. Um, but if we head over to Log Kiosk now, we'll see what we can do. Um, actually, I'm very close to the Log Kiosk. Let's undo that. I'm actually on the Log Kiosk. Right. So, in which case, I need to be going in here, I think. Yeah, there it is. Right, there's the log kiosk. This utility thing that I got on the back, I don't think this is anything that's going to help us with the logs. I think I need to go back to our original garage, take this off and put a log thing on. Um, in the comments section, let me know what this utility business is all about, because I got no clue. I'm just going to change the vehicle a second. Let me just go up here and put the park brake on. Advanced. Change truck. Let's get into you. Start engine. Right, this one, I got no clue how to load the logs. That just doesn't seem to happen. Click advance, and all it does is need to position four more to load up. I've got no idea what that means. I've looked it up. Um, the closest that I can get is that maybe we're in the wrong position for loading the logs, but it, it, it just doesn't make sense. Uh, it's a, the log kiosk is supposed to be the one that loads automatically, isn't it? Um, or maybe the log kiosk isn't the automatic load. Maybe it's the other one that's the automatic load, and I've got it completely wrong. Um, I'm not sure on that. Now, am I close enough to the other truck to s jump into it? I don't think I am. No, I'm not. Okay. Um, let's change off of you. Actually, no, you can do it through the map, can't you? You can just go there, and then you go the new one that I've got here. Double-click it, and you can jump into it. So, park brake. Now, what does this utility thing do? Does this help with the log kiosk at all? Or not? Don't think it does. Uh, click advance. That doesn't do anything. There's nothing here. No, right. So I'm going to take this back to the main garage because I think that this is something else. I, I don't know what this utility thing is all about. Um, but the vehicle that is on seems pretty hardcore. So if we run this one back to the garage, actually, I could just reset it. I don't need to run it anywhere. It's just, just reset. Uh, type C255. Garage. No. There. Rescue your truck to this garage. Yes. Now we're talking. Right. Change wheels. Utility attachment. No idea. I don't know what that means. Um, fuel system. Log cart. What do you mean unavailable? Maybe if I uninstall that one. Oh, hang on. Let me just... 
come off of that a second and just drive into here. If I drive a little bit closer, put the lights on. Now what does it do? Um, click advanced, utility attachment. Oh, I think it repairs things. I think that's what it does. At least that's my guess. So let's unclick that one and come off of there. Right, now we want to go to this. So if I uninstall there, log cart, we can have carriage with crane. I don't want that. Log cart carries medium logs or long logs. Um, no idea what any of that means, but that's what we're going to do. So I install that and let's get out of here. It's 4.21 in the morning, so we should fairly soon see some actual daylight. Um... Oops. I want to go over here. I want to get to the lumber yard. If I put the points like this, it'll sort of keep me roughly on the road. Like that. And let's get going. I'm going to not go very far. Not like that anyway. Okay. Now we have a six-wheel drive vehicle that is um, kitted out with a proper log cart. Hopefully this means we can actually get some logs. We go to the lumber yard, and I'm hoping that that will enable us to actually load up some lumber. Um, because we've been playing this for quite some time now, and all I've managed to do is get stuck and find out things what not to do. Um, which is probably frustrating... I know from the last time I played this that a lot of people were like giving me pointers, different things I should try to do. Some of you said that I should use manual gears rather than automatic. I prefer automatic while I'm, well, actually, while I'm driving myself, I prefer manual. I, I drive everything as a manual except for my wife's car. She has an automatic um, for medical reasons. Other than that, every vehicle I ever drive is a, um, is a manual. And, I mean... Automatics are kind of unusual here in the UK anyway for cars and that. It's, um, I know like in the States, I don't know about other countries, but I do know that in the States it's kind of, you have as many manual cars as we have automatics. It's kind of unusual in the States to see people driving around with a manual car. You normally have an automatic, um, whereas we're the complete opposite. Um, I don't know about other countries in the rest of the world, uh, but that's just how we do things here. Um, so, yeah, I do normally prefer a manual. However, when I'm playing a game, I prefer a automatic. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's just weird like that. So, we have the C4320. You know, if I'd just come along here in the first place, it probably would have been considerably faster to just unlock that one, because that's got a crane and everything already on it. Um, right, where do I get the logs from? Something... No, there's nothing there. I'm taking damage definitely taking some damage uh right let's take a look at the loot i got i'm at the lumber yard okay logs kiosk maybe i need to go to the log kiosk because i've unlocked the c4320 i'm driving at the moment the c255 um i've got no where, where's the actual lumber here is the morning has broken at last we have sunlight. Well, we have kind of missed at the moment, but it's getting here. It's 5.53 in the morning. Most of this episode has been at night, even though I didn't actually want it to be all at night because I spent so long trying to look up what to do. Um, never mind. We live and learn. I now know how to drive around. I know how to use the winches. Um, oh, lumber. That's what I'm looking for. Right, let's just push our way through. I watched my son doing this the other day. And if you hit the trees hard enough, you can actually just ram your way through them. <laughs> um, it's not very good for the vehicle, admittedly. But you can do it if you want to. Come on! <laughs> okay, it's not going to work. We're going to have to go around. Let's just drive around here. There's a little tree there in the way. That's okay. We can sort of brush past that one. Doesn't really matter. Now, if I come through here. There we go. Round. And there is the lumber cart. Ah, this must be the auto-load one. You go into the square and it automatically loads you up. That was what I heard. I read or something, I don't know. Stop here. What happens now? Click advanced. Hang on. Right, there we go. Right, Let, need to install carriage or carriage with crane. Need to install medium log cart. 
Long logs cart. But I've got uh, I've got something on for it, haven't I? Have I got to have a trailer on the back? Have I come all this way with the wrong thing? Spare wheel. I reckon I have. I reckon I needed a trailer on the back to go with it. Oh, I'm so... Oh! I'm really, <laughs> really not very good at this at all, am I? Uh, I need to install carriage or carriage with crane. For all of them. Need to install medium log cart. Need to install long logs cart. Right. Uh, right, so what's the vehicle that I've just unlocked over here? If I go next to that one... Yeah, I think I need another cart on the back. Because that just holds one lot of logs. If I go over next to this one, what does this one do? Is this the one that just puts them on there? And then you've got to lift them on? Um, what does that do? Need to install medium log cart. Short logs. That doesn't do anything. It's not an option. Right, so I need a cart on the back. I've done it completely and utterly wrong again. Right. Uh, that means i got to go back to the... Oh, I can do that. We can go... Um, I'm just going to reset it again. Just click there. Yes, rescue the truck here. Repaired 92 damage. Uh, long logs cart. Uh, let's just go in here off the mud a minute. So can I actually install the cart or am I going to get this wrong as well? This must be really frustrating for some of you to watch this. Uh, medium log cart. That's what we want. <laughs> yes! We're making progress. We're actually doing something right. Well, kind of. Uh, okay. Let me put both of them on. Now we've got to get back over to that log car again um, so that we can get the logs on. At least let me get some logs loaded. Um, I, this episode's probably going on a little bit now, but um, we, we can do this. It's, it's only a short drive up this road so that we can actually get the logs loaded. Um, so, yes, this is my new uh, upload schedule. I'll hopefully get the artwork on the channel updated today so that it, it um, has the new um, upload schedule on it at the top. Um, and for now, at least, I will be doing Monday, Wednesday and Friday will be alternative games. Um, Wednesday and Sunday will still be the time lapse. I've got my final episode of RSV on Wednesday. Then I will be doing two episodes of Euro Truck Simulator time lapse um, next week. So it'll be Sunday and following Wednesday. And then I will be starting Dowland Farm as that one is by far the most votes. Um, and that will be the new time lapse. I already have a copy from the creators of the map, uh, fully optimized for seasons. They are absolutely fantastic. Um, they've updated the map already, and there's another few things that they're working on still. They really want this map to be successful, and um, the way that they're going with it, I can really see this one being a fantastic, awesome map. It's it's not just a good map. Um, it's the fact that they're working with it after the map is um, done and released that really kind of, I think, gives it the, the extra. You see, it really sort of makes the map. It's the fact that they're working with it to iron out any little details with it. So it's gonna, I think it's going to be a lot of fun playing that one. Now, where did those logs go? That's going to be the next thing. Um, where were the actual logs? Oh, down there, right to my um, left. Okay. Um, so, yes, we will be starting that one in... It's, uh, just about a week and a half now and then um, uh, Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays are going to be Gerala with Seasons um, the one thing left with, to do really is um, once I've got Gerala with Seasons going I am hoping that in the next sort of six, position your truck properly right, where do I position it? This is the next thing. Where do I position my truck? What's properly? Ah, uh, have you got to have it straight? Has it just got to be straight? Let's straighten it up. Stop there. Position your truck properly. Does it actually give me any clue as to where it's got to be positioned? I've done it! Ha <laughs> ha! We have a load of logs! Now I've got to get these logs 
to the next point, and that's actually going to be our next episode, I think. I, I'm going to start moving them now. I've got park brake on. Um, I will start moving these logs, but I think really getting these to our destination is going to be our next episode here in Spin Tires. And I'm actually getting work done. I'm getting stuff done now. We're, we're making progress, and I feel that this is a good thing. Um, actually getting things done, I think this is a, a good thing. So we've got four points of logs here. Um, right, I can just go. I have the camera at this angle. Let's get out of here and get onto the road, and then I've got to plan the route. Um, I don't know if I'm supposed to, like, get a bridge or something like that in order to help this out. I can zoom back out a little bit. And let's come up here. This truck is a savage creature. It really is. It's fantastic. I am loving this truck. Right. That road up through there, will that take us to where we want to go? Um, that, I think, sort of comes down along. That's heading down this way. I don't know if that's going to be useful. Really, we want to cross the river. We need to get over here, and there's some little tracks here that come down. Um, and we, this is where we're going to need to cross the river, I think. Oh, no, there's a track over there. We could go all the way back to the garage, up round past the garage trailer one here, and cross the river over here, because the, it does look like the track comes back here. Um, and we can get up onto this road, over round, and up here. I think we can do this. I think we can do this. Let's start driving. Let's just start moving. Get it, getting some distance under these wheels. Getting some miles eaten up. Well, some mud, anyway. Um, so, yes, that is my new upload schedule. I am hoping, though that in a few months time I will be in a position where I might and I, I'm this is no guarantee yet I might be able to go full-time with YouTube um, it's gonna require some serious sacrifices on my part in my personal life um, but I may just be able to do it if I can That'll mean I'll be able to go back to doing um, Farming Simulator Let's Plays six days a week, as well as doing these other games. Um, so I make no promises at the moment. Um, I'd be interested to hear your thoughts. I'm not actually going to mention this on my Farming Simulator videos. I'm only going to mention this on my other videos, because I realise that a lot of my audience at the moment is purely Farming Simulator. Um, and the one thing that I've always been concerned about with this channel is I don't want to be a one-horse race, okay? I just don't want to be a one-trick pony. Um, I like playing Farming Simulator. I genuinely love that game. But I don't want to be just about that game. Um, I've always intended for this channel to be a gaming channel, not just a Farming Simulator channel. I realise that Farming Simulator is definitely my big thing. Um, and it's it's something that I can do very well. Um, I understand farming. I love. Um, I um, grew up on farms. Um, I love gaming as well. So it's kind of it's it's a really good marriage of everything that works. But at the same time, driving along the countryside with a load of logs like this is fun. Um, doing and, and doing other things as well. Playing uh, Forza Horizons. I, that game. I've been playing that game a bit. Um, more now and sort of putting into practice some of the little tips and tricks that people have given me oh it's so much fun i am having so much fun playing that game it is fantastic and i intend to keep playing can i get fuel here if i stop what does it do uh installed installed cabin protection beacons i don't want any of that okay um so anyway if there are other games that you would like me to play um then let me know. I will probably try and do a second episode of Escapists for Wednesday because a lot of people have said they'd like me to play another episode of that just so they can see me escape from prison. So I'll probably try and do that for Wednesdays. Um, if there are other games that you would like to see me playing then head in the comment section down below. Let us know which one it is and um, if you see other people's suggestion of a game that you particularly like make sure you give it a big thumbs up so that uh, I can see and I can see which ones that people like, which ones are popular for everybody. Um, that will make a significant difference. The, the extra thumbs ups and attention that you give to um, other people's suggestions will help those suggestions. I do look at them. Just just because I'm not playing them at the moment doesn't mean I'm not going to play them. Um, there are several games that have been suggested that I have that I can already start playing. 
I can't keep going out and I, obviously I can't just go and buy every game that is suggested um, I, like I said um, going full time on YouTube is going to require a large amount of personal sacrifices and um, one of those sacrifices is going to have to be for a little while not buying a vast number of new games and I like playing new games I love new games and it's going to be painful not being able to try anything new for a while um, but obviously I will try some I'm not saying I'm not going to be playing any new games because you need you want to see me doing it and we're through I didn't think we'd get through there that is fantastic this view is brilliant I am loving this we're actually there we've got a load of logs we're traveling on the road in the sunshine this is fantastic we'll just bring out round a bit look at that beast he is savage savage brilliant um so yes if you've enjoyed this episode then please head down below and give me a like and if you really enjoyed it then please tell your friends all about me get them to come and watch as well that would be awesome but until next time thank you very much for watching this is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you next time.